it's Zaya Zaya Z and I got another video for you today so I'm gonna show you how I got this Halloween glittery scarecrow look but before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when I'm posting new videos let's get started so I'm gonna start by using my NYX can't stop won't stop concealer in true beige and I'm gonna just put that all under my eyes and just blend it out And then I'm gonna put it down my nose, just a little line, you don't need too much. And then I'm gonna blend that out as well. So next, I'm using my Lancome foundation in the color 415 Bisque W. And I'm just gonna put that where I didn't put the concealer. And here I'm just using my Ben Nye Banana Powder just to set the concealer that I put under my eyes and on my nose and on my chin and my forehead. And I'm also putting it on my over my eyes just to provide a flat surface for the color to go on. This is the RCMA um, Color Process Foundation in the color Shinto 3. And I'm putting that on before I use my BH Cosmetics um, Contouring Powder. Um, I like to use the cream contouring. I like to contour with cream before I do powder because for some reason it just sits better. And I'm also going to contour the sides of my nose with this same brush and it's just a, an e.l.f. contouring brush. It doesn't have a name. This is the BH Cosmetics um, contouring palette that I was talking about. It's powder. The brush I'm using is the Morphe M139 brush. I'm using the same NYX uh, concealer on top of my eye just a little bit and I'm gonna rub that in later and then I'm just gonna use this blending brush and I'm gonna mix all these colors together from my Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette I think the colors I'm using are ooh, trance consume tempting flame game ferocious and major hottie and I just mix them all together and this side I'm gonna do a little bit more light because I'm not putting the flower over it and after I do that I'm just gonna rub in that concealer after I get my base color onto my eye. Now I'm going back in with the color Jolt and I'm just putting that in my crease. And I'm not gonna go too heavy, like I said before. On the other side, I'm gonna go much heavier, but just a little bit so that it blends. I'm putting some glitter primer glue right over where I put the concealer on my eye. Then you'll dab on some glitter and this is just some glitter I found from the beauty supply store. It's by Ismi and it's the color copper gold. I'm using a flat angled brush and the color hypnotic to go under my eye yeah, yeah. 
I'm using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel just to flatten my eyebrow out before I get ready to paste it down because my eyebrow hairs are like super thick <laughs> and I have to try oh yeah now I'm using some Elmer's glue it's invisible glue I literally have to do this like two times because my eyebrow hairs are so thick and you can still kind of see through them you can see it through the concealer now I'm putting some concealer on it and then I'm gonna set it with that Ben Nye powder again but as you can see you can still see my eyebrow I kind of just say it whatever and then my eyebrows are super dark, so I guess it's inevitable. You're gonna see it. The brush I'm using is the Morphe R13. And when you do this, don't put on too much of this um, powder because then it's just gonna be cakey on there and it's not gonna dry. Now I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing I did with the other eye, except I'm gonna do it a little bit heavier so that you can see it more on this side. And then I'm not gonna put on the glitter yet. So everything but the glitter and the glitter primer. So I have this uh, Pacifica brown eyeliner i don't remember what color it is it's an eye and lip liner but i'm just gonna line the petals onto my eye maybe a little bit because it's a pencil When you do this, you can pretty much use any eyeliner as long as it's not a dry one because you don't want to be pulling on your skin. I just used this one because I had it brown works. You can use like a dark red. You can just use pretty much any color you want. Just have fun with it. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe, what, M705 brush, and I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution London palette and the color Canary, and I'm gonna use that inside of the petals. a smaller triangular brush and this one is called it's the Morphe R42 and I'm gonna add some dimension and layers to these petals 
right on the insides. And I think I'm gonna use, uh, I wanna use this. Let's see how this looks. Let's try this first. Okay, that works. contouring brush and just blend that in a little bit not too much because we don't want it to be smeared but we want to blend it in so that it doesn't look super blunt and that it adds dimension highlighter again and go back and add a second row of petals I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did. Do the yellow and then orange in the inside just a little bit to make it blend. So now I have the yellow in. I'm gonna go in with a darker orange because more of like a brown because I want it to look like it's another layer. So um, instead of using this, I'm gonna use that. That's called Major Hottie. That's what I'm gonna use. And the first one I used was Ball of Fire. So now I'm using Major Hottie, and this is my Morphe Fierce by Nature 3503 palette. And it's still pretty bright. <laughs> oh, let me try the other side. Now, I'm gonna take that same angled brush that I use for under my eye, and I'm gonna go in with a dark brown. I think I wanna try this one first. And that color is Jolt. If Jolt doesn't work, I'm gonna use this one, Smolder. We're gonna try this first. Let's see. Go along those lines and define them a little bit. This brush might be too thick, but we'll see. It works. Wait, it is a little thick. We're gonna use the side of the brush. Instead of going like this, we're gonna go on the side. You know what? I don't like it. I'm gonna use this flat angle brush. It's the Morphe M165. And I'm gonna go in with that same color. Now we can go back and prime the eye with that glitter primer. And then I'm gonna put that same glitter from the other eye on here. And I, I, I like to go a little heavier on this side cause it's more dramatic. And I'm gonna take that same brown liner. You can use any color, green would be nice. Yeah, just taking that. And I'm gonna outline the leaves. I'm gonna use this green from the Morphe palette. It is called uh, Come Alive. I like that better. The other one from the Makeup Revolution palette, I like it, but it's a little dull.
So dab a little bit of the glitter primer over the leaf. Don't rub it in because you don't want to mess up um, the color, the green shadow that we put on there. And then use the same glitter that you put on the eyelids and then you can put that on top of the leaf. Before I put the blush on, I took this angled blush brush and then I mixed together just these colors and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just whatever it looks right. It's just we're having fun. So yeah, and then I just put it on, rubbed it in some. Then I got this highlighter palette from Revolution Makeup Revolution London. And I am going to use my fan brush if I can find it. Oh, here it is. And I'm gonna mix this color and this one. I don't know what it's called. I just like the way it looks. I'm just put it on here. I'm gonna do my lips. I got this red gloss. You know, I should probably line them first. So what am I gonna line them with? I'm gonna use this. This is from Pacifica as well. I don't remember what color it is, but I think it's actually not from Pacifica, but it is another um, natural liner. It's by Zuzu Luke's. And the color, I can't really see what color it is. It's all gone. But yeah, it's not Pacifica, it's Zuzu Luke's. Now Luke's. I'm gonna take the glitter. and that's it the glitter scarecrow sunflower look i hope you enjoyed this and if you like this video today make sure that you like it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this coming i have a whole lot in store for y'all so just be prepared and thank you bye